Have you ever seen one before? Well, if you haven't, you're not alone. They're pretty elusive creatures, and that means they're also kind of camera shy. But don't tell that to the photographer in this next story because he will do almost anything to get a shot of one. Photographer Kerry Wilk is known for his striking images of underwater animals. I think that it's a combination of a love for photography, a love for water, and a love for the challenge of getting the shots that I envision. His extensive portfolio includes some of the ocean's most iconic predators. Anything from dolphins to sperm whales uh, to all sorts of sharks, great whites, the list sort of goes on. But today, with a hand from his girlfriend Lisa, Gary's after something completely different. A few years ago, a friend and I came across a snapping turtle, and I got a few snapshots of it, but it was a bit of a tease. So ever since that one, uh, that one trip, it's been my goal to sort of uh, capture some really unique images of these under-photographed animals. Now, most people think that this is sort of a strange goal that I've set for myself, but, you know, to each his own, I think we're good to go. For help, he's going to the experts. Matt and Steve are contributing to Canada's longest-running research project on snapping turtles. Hey, Matt and Steve, how you guys doing? Good. Got any turtles for me? I hope so. We set 10 traps around the lake, and um, hopefully there'll be turtles in them soon. Let's get out there. All right. All 10 traps are spread across Mew Lake, right off the main road in Ontario's Algonquin Provincial Park. This is a, what's called a baited hoop trap that we use for sampling uh, turtles. And so it's uh, four hoops surrounded by netting. And then there's a, a funnel in the front, and that's where the turtles come in. The biggest challenge is going to be finding a snapping turtle that allows us to get close enough to it to get the type of shots that I'm looking for. It's kind of eerie, a little dark. Lots of little baby lily pads coming up from the muck. The next trap has a turtle, but it's not a snapper. What we have here is a painted turtle, and uh, they called them first called them painted turtles because of the beautiful markings on the edge of their shell there and along their neck and legs. Unlike snappers, painted turtles are easy to catch. No trap needed. All right, we already captured this turtle and we would have painted her at that time. Paint on the shells only lasts for a year. Gary takes the opportunity to get a few shots in the can. At the next trap, Gary becomes the turtle whisperer. Wow, can you read the tag? We got X5. Oh, watch out. Grabbed it and took it out of the water and it sort of snapped on my face really quick. Give me a little bit of a scare. Hey, buddy. Oh, watch out. Still have all my fingers and toes, so everything worked out. Getting bitten is kind of like getting your finger shut in the door. Like, it hurts, but uh, it's okay pretty quickly. A big girl we got here. Yeah, she was probably born in the 50s. We don't really know how old she is, but we do know she was young when she was first captured in the 70s. A couple more traps and a couple more snappers. But Kerry has to wait before he's given a chance to shoot these bees swimming freely. All right. Loaded with turtles, the biologists bring their precious catch back to shore. Many new lake turtles have been repeatedly caught since the project began more than 40 years ago. So 4.5. So she's getting pretty big. She's quite a bit bigger than the last time. Um, we caught her. We monitor snapping turtles, and that sort of tells us important information about their population. So things like abundance, um, their survival rates, and when they disperse from one lake to another. Matt and Steve wrap up their work, and now it's Carrie's turn. It's hard to believe these animals are at least 50 to 60 years old. Well, I was trying to follow the turtles for an uh, extended period of time so we could get them surfacing and do some split shots at the surface with their head out of the water and seeing their body underneath uh, hanging down. Uh, also, 
waited until they settled on the bottom and were comfortable with us so they'd stay still and I could get directly in front of them and have, have some head-on shots. The results are stunning. A rare window into the murky world of the snapping turtle. You know, taking an entire day like this, focus on a single animal, and then coming through in the end and getting some really unique images, that's a really sort of special thing that, that makes you feel good at the end of the day, succeeding.